Share a thought today on the Proverbs 31. I believe it starts in verse 10 or 11 around there when it talks about a virtuous woman. The other day I was sitting here listening to a radio program and they mentioned the word Proverbs 31. And immediately this thought came to my mind how when I used to study that and read that and I remember being involved with women's groups and and in church the leaders of the the woman leaders used to teach the groups that the women about being a Proverbs 31 woman and being a virtuous woman and um, I remember just sitting there thinking in my mind wow look at these women these pastors wives and all these women they're they're the Proverbs 31 woman and thinking how can I be a Proverbs 31 woman so I I would go home and read the scripture and I would look at each verse and think wow I'm this way but I'm not that way and I'm this way and I'm not that way or I'm not that how can I be and just remember pondering on that and thinking I'll never be a Proverbs 31 woman and it's funny because I'm sharing this now I realize when I heard that the other day I realized how I don't even ponder on that or think about that or anything that's not even a part of my life anymore and I realize wow why why is that not a part of my life because I'm not under the old covenant which is under law I'm not under law I'm I now am in the new covenant I'm under grace and I was like, wow, that's, and then I went to study the scripture on that. And the king was giving words or sharing words that his mom gave him, like advice or something like that, that his mom shared. And I realized as I was searching, it, it's like a poem. And so I was just amazed at that. I thought, well, people take this scripture out of context and they put it into something that we must be obedient or follow rules by like they put this into a law abiding thing like the women they made up this whole new thing and called it proverbs 31 women or women of noble character and all these things and they they just put this pressure on you that you must be all this and if you're not then you're not um a godly woman or godly wife godly mother and they put all this pressure on you and i realized wow that's the old testament and that's not even what it's talking about so i just want to share that with everyone who's listening today especially if you're a woman and you're listening to that just remember that that's a that's in the Old Testament and we're no longer under the Old Testament we're free we're free in Christ we're free in Jesus Christ we're under grace and go read your scripture again and and know that that's just a words that a mother was giving to her son and and it's not even it's a poem and so um, I'm just so excited about that because now that I'm under grace, I don't even think about that. I don't think how I need to be this way. I need to be that way. I need to do this. I need to be this kind of wife or, or anything like that. I just walk with Jesus, know that I'm loved and accepted by him. And, and that's all I need to know. And his perfect love, you know, changes me and, I don't try to work at anything, I just am in Christ Jesus.